So on the floor here, I have my homemade spool holder. I got this at Walmart, drilled it out for a wooden bead on top, put a wood dowel in the bottom, and this allows me to mount these five pound spools, completely protects them, and prevents the wire from whipping around all over the place. So the wire comes out through the top here, and our next stop is my Velcro tensioner. The wire is sandwiched between these two pieces of loop Velcro that are taped down to these pieces of single ply pick guard material. And in this case I'm holding it on with a little kerfing clamp. Sometimes I'll use a hemostat, but I find these clamps also work pretty well. And I just put a magnet right here so I can stick the tensioner on it without having to worry about it. And then I can work with the wire coming out of it with no problem. So that takes us to our next stop, which is the pen pal lathe. I cut the tailstock off right here, mounted it down here, and the chisel rest works as the perfect traverse limiter. Mounted on top is a Red Lion panel meter and an RRDC2000 retro reflective sensor. The laser distinguishes the difference between the reflective tape and the flat black enamel paint that I put on the back of this plate. So as you wind, it counts the turns. So the first thing I'm going to do is measure the inside of this bobbin. Right on quarter of an inch. Lock it. And we're going to set our traverse limiter right to that measurement. So push it up against the jaws, tighten it. So there's the bobbin plate. In this case, I'm going to be doing a humbucker bobbin. So, I slide the bobbin right over these two screws, which will hold the bobbin in place. And then I'm going to take my wire and wrap it once around the bobbin. And on this little screw that I have mounted on top here, I'm going to wrap that wire around. So once I have the bobbin width set, I'm going to turn on the winder at a very low RPM. And just move this side to side until it lines up perfectly with the edge of the bobbin. And I can see that I'm getting to the very edge on both sides. with no risk of going over the edge. Once I'm happy with the position, I'll turn this knob to lock it in place. So now we have our limiter locked in place, and we are ready to wind.
between the traverse limiter and the Velcro tensioner, you get a very, very nice, tight, even coil.